Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate opposition and reposition which are special movements involving the thumb. Now the thumb articulates or forms a joint with the trapezium bone of the wrist via a saddle joint, a type of synovial joint featuring interlocking convex and concave surfaces. And they call it a saddle joint because, well, it looks like a saddle. Saddle up cowboy. Yeehaw! Now thanks to this saddle joint, the thumb can perform various movements such as circumduction, flexion and extension, abduction and adduction, as well as special movements called opposition and reposition. Opposition of the thumb occurs when the tip of the thumb comes to meet and oppose the tip of another finger from the same hand. Now a super simple way to remember this movement is that you've probably heard someone say that humans have opposable thumbs. And we do. And that's what this movement opposition is all about. It's about taking the thumb and moving it around so that it opposes each of the digits or fingers by touching the tip like that. Also check this out. Whenever opposition occurs, the thumb moves and meets the tip of one of the fingers. And when you look at the shape that results, it kind of makes the shape of a letter O. O for opposition with our opposable thumbs. Now reposition is super simple because it is the opposite action of opposition. During reposition, the thumb and finger return to their original position. Okay, so that wraps up this video on opposition and reposition. We have a whole anatomy playlist if you click the link in the description below. Also, take a free quiz on our website to test yourself really quickly over opposition and reposition to help lock it in your brain. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.